The books that she picks out are always so amazing. And did I mention the pictures from those books are always captivating. And hey, she's just simply an amazing storyteller. Let me usher in Wangari the Storyteller. Tell me, where do chicks come from? Ah, yes, chicks come from eggs. And what color are the eggs? Are they green? Are they yellow? Are they orange? Oh, yes, they are white. Well, in our book today, we are going to read a book called Cuckoo and the Red Eggs. Hmm, red eggs? <laughs> well, let's see. My name is Wangari the Storyteller, and this is Storytime from right here at the Textbook Center. Are you ready? Let's get reading. Cuckoo and the Red Eggs. Cuckoo the hen was happy. She now had six big eggs in her house. She covered the eggs with soft grass. Nobody will steal my eggs, she said. Cuckoo took her basket. She went to the market. She was going to buy food. Cuckoo met Ruff, Ruff, the dog. Please give me one egg to eat, dog said. Cuckoo shook her head. I cannot give you my eggs, she said. And here you can see Cuckoo with her basket going to the market and Cuckoo and dog meeting and having a conversation. I'm very hungry, dog said. Cuckoo said she wanted to have chicks. Dog was very angry. Woof, woof, I know where you hide your eggs, he said. You will never find my eggs, Cuckoo said. And then she walked away. Cuckoo met a cat. Please give me one egg to eat. Cuckoo shook her head. I cannot give you my eggs, she said. But I am very hungry, cat said. Cuckoo said she wanted to have chicks. Cat was very angry. I know where you hide your eggs, he said. You will never find my eggs, Cuckoo said. And then she walked away. <laughs> and you can see here the cat walking away, quite angry, you can see. Cuckoo was now scared. Did the animals know where she hid her eggs? What will I do now, she asked. She scratched her head. Ah, I know what I will do, she said. Nobody will touch my eggs. Cuckoo jumped up and down. She flapped her wings in joy. Oh, I wonder what idea Cuckoo has. You can see she is clearly very, very happy. Cuckoo bought a bucket of red paint and a brush. Cuckoo ran back to the house. She checked on her eggs. Then she took all the eggs to the house. She took the bucket of paint and brush and she painted the eggs one by one. All the eggs were now red, not white but red. Cuckoo put her eggs in the sun. She wanted them to dry quickly. Dog walked slowly towards Cuckoo's house. He saw the eggs and he was so afraid. He had never seen red eggs. He ran away very, very fast. Cat walked slowly to Cuckoo's house. He saw the eggs and he was very afraid. He had never seen red eggs. And he too ran away very, very fast. Cuckoo later took the eggs to the house. She was very happy. Her plan had worked. Cat and dog had thought that the eggs were on fire. Cat and dog visited Cuckoo. Cat said, Meow, I will never 
steal your eggs? And dog said, Woof, woof, I will never steal your eggs. Cuckoo forgave them. And you know what happened finally? The eggs hatched into six beautiful chicks. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six beautiful chicks. The chicks played around the house and Cuckoo, their mother, always, always brought them food. Cuckoo saw dog and cat near her house. She was afraid they would harm the chicks. Run, run to the house, Cuckoo told the chicks. Hmm, how will Cuckoo protect her chicks? Well, you know what? This book is one out of a series of books around Cuckoo. If you want to know how Cuckoo will protect her chicks, then you need to go to the textbook center and tell them that you would like to buy some storybooks from the Cuckoo series. Well, that is the end of our session today. Until next time, bye!